Hi everyone, I'm back with the M140i. I told you all I'd have it back in another video. Hopefully there'll be a third video because it's raining right now. So we were going to do a little bit of a point of view drive at night and stuff, but don't think we'll feel comfortable doing that, especially with me driving his car in the wet. I probably scare him enough as it is in the dry. So yeah, um, but we've got the M140i. We're going to do a couple of mods to it. So change the front grills. He's actually done the side mirrors himself, the, the covers for it. Um, so we're just going to put in the sweeping uh, indicator light bulbs and I think we're just doing the rear diffuser and exhaust tips um, off the back of that. Is that right? Uh, double There's... stack kidney grills as well. Oh yeah, kidney, kidney grills as well. So um going to do the kidney grills. So kidney grills, sweeping side indicators, exhaust and rear diffuser. So it should be a pretty fun little time right now. Yeah, I think we're going to start off with the front and kind of go backwards because I think that's just the simplest and easiest way. And yeah, All right, you know what? The ambient lights holding up good. They look good still, yeah, to be honest. Oh, and he's, he's had an exhaust done to the car, which sounds really nice. I'll make sure we get a sound clip of that later on in the video. But yeah, starting off with the front grills. Many of you might remember or might have seen my video with my cousin's 3 Series where we pretty much did the same thing um, over a couple of hours. Actually, we ended up doing a lot more because I'm pretty sure we ended up detailing his car at the same time. Ugh. It's so weird that these cars don't have a latch that you have to hold on to. You just, it's just a second pull. Um, yep, yeah, there you go. That's the new front grills. So with the original ones, the single slat, which actually do look good. I don't think they look bad, especially because it's the shadow line trim. But I think obviously it looks a lot better when you've got the twins. So with this, if I remember correctly, we just basically got to remove the top section of the front bumper. And then we can access this, undo the clips and stuff like that. So let's uh, jump into it straight away. No, also, you bought them from the website? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't realize the, do you know the drive-by? On stock exhaust, it's so loud. It sounds good, doesn't yeah, it? Your car sounds yeah. so, so good. The traction on this is already like, not the best. Driving like that. I can imagine. Yeah, you can't, you can't even put your foot down. I went into a tunnel earlier and oh my God, it, it was so loud. <laughs> <laughs> you were there like, yes, yeah, this thing. is what I paid for. <laughs> So you've got to undo these tabs mm. and go all the way around it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, she's putting really lost, so everything's just all over the place. Now I think it's time to uh, put on the new one. <laughs> do you know what? Yeah, I'm, that fuel economy line. Yeah, do you know what? I'm actually eking out 30 miles per gallon only because I've been driving so sensible. Very sad. We're not there for the spider at the moment. Same deep, what, 58 engine. Um, do you know the front grills? Right yeah. At the bottom. I think one of the radiators are there. And okay. he got like a stone shin and it went directly in. There we go. But you did it perfectly and then there's just mine. <laughs> yeah, one of the three screws to take off. Or maybe that screw there. Okay, that's fine. I got it off. So it's already on. So much power for such a little car. Exactly. Um, <laughs> it's so easy to get to that power as well when you yeah. look at it like. Yeah, yeah. just software. No, yeah. nothing, you know, nothing, nothing really off. hardware mm -hmm. related. Damn, you man, it's so annoying. You know, put the hazards on. So sweeping versus standard. Sweeping is good. So everyone, I just kind of wanted to do a little bit of an update part to this video. So the side mirrors, they're pretty fiddly to um, take off. And you've got a few screws just on the inside um, that I've yet to put on. So there's one there, two, third one in the corner, and a fourth one just out over here. 
Um, but the main thing to kind of focus on here is this part of the rear bottom trim. So when you take it off, you've really got to push, whilst holding the indicator bar in, you really got to push and squeeze the bottom part to clip in. Um, otherwise you'll be left with a little gap just underneath here. Now, technically you can get it to all fit and still work um, and like screw in without that fitting right. But my opinion, if you're gonna do it, do it right, do it once and don't do it again. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's, that's how I did that. Um, with regards to the actual uh, mirror removal, from what I did was basically work from the bottom and then just slowly you'll, you'll, you'll be able to feel it you'll feel it starting to unclip it doesn't happen straight away so you just got to kind of work around the bottom a lot and then eventually you'll just hear it click once and then you can slowly carry on all the way around and it will un undo itself um, but yeah just gotta put on the cover now since this is basically your main side <laughs> I'll, I'll let you do the honors. Yeah. Looks good, too, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks good. So, a couple of things I want to point out to you guys. On the back of this, these deflectors you use from your old ones, you get two screws to put in with them. Um, purely because it's about making sure they're sitting securely. The stock ones fit in a lot nicer than the original OEM uh, diffuser. And this does, so it's got a little bit of leeway, so you can probably easily pop them out. So the two screws hold in great. In terms of removing the old one, it was actually quite easy to remove them. Um, all you have to do is take off an eight mil nut over here and a plastic rivet just there. And then the whole diffuser just pops off. So now it's just a matter of connecting these two up. Um, these basically just underneath here and here, um, behind the bumper, I'll see if I can show you guys actually underneath. Um, just underneath there, you got a circle on this side and a, a slit on this side. Um, I'm gonna use the, the provided tools to um, connect it in, so it's an M6 um, bolt and washer and um, nut so you just connect that up and then you'll be able to mount up the rest so just gonna carry on with that leave it back on hyperlapse and we'll be back with you shortly call this real quick so everyone with regards to the rear diffuser basically you end up having to push up the metal um, heat shield just a little bit just to let the nut and bolt through so you got the one going through there there's the nut and washer and you've got the other one just over here as well that's that and now once you've got that all lined up should be all good to uh, clip in the new one and then we've it's the job done Oh my gosh, we are finally done ladies and gentlemen, that that was hard work. So a couple of the issues we had was basically all to do with the final fitment. Majority of the bulk work for this was pretty easy and self-explanatory. Um, just getting the screws to fit back on, the metal brackets to fit in, um, and just working with the screws for that um, correctly. But getting these corner parts now, in the plastic tabs, they have a couple of holes where you're supposed to put a screw through um, on the top, underneath here. You basically have to put those screws through blind if you're gonna do it with the bumper still on the car. If you take the whole bumper off, you'd have a better chance of doing it and getting a much better, more perfect finish. Um, but it's still quite restricted. You've, you've got no space there. Um, so I think we've done pretty good job. In terms of how it actually fits right now, it's definitely secure. It's not gonna really flap around. Um, I think the two metal brackets at the bottom are like the most important ones because with those guys, you've supported kind of the bit where it gets most of the drag and the rest of it is kind of, it's, it should be happy days there. So yeah, we're, we're good. You wanna 
How'd you find your first annoying day of working on a car? <laughs> Let's not do it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a situation where, like with ambient lights and stuff like that, it's kind of, you just go through the motions, it's just long. Whereas this is like, it's taken us two hours to do all of this, but there's every so often there's something that's really annoying and that's what drives you mad. But we're done. It's all good now. I guess you just gotta put away that rear diffuser. And then we're- The we first time was nice, so we had to do it twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, AJ. Just a let down. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, right. I think, I think we do need to get a sound clip now. That's a must. Because this car sounds so good now that it's had the work done to it. Where do you want to put that, by the way? Uh, do you want it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, everyone. So, Swith so has kind of mentioned a really good point, which I'm so happy to hear this has actually come through um, in a real world experience. Obviously, get to catch up with him in person now, which is when he was driving and it became dark outside or the lights came on, the ambient lights automatically came on. Um, and he had a good moment with his friends in the car kind of enjoying it and i messed up in the last video with regards to showing the ambient lights so we're going to basically look around the car right now and have a nice look at all the colors and how it looks with the car completely finished so do you mind doing the honors oh i turned your lights off earlier just make sure you don't kill your battery off oh Yeah, the rear of the car is a little bit dirtier right now because of everything, but yeah. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. In fact, I'll turn this one light on. Let's look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Right, so happy days. We've got the car finished. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick little walk around actually. Still a walk around, get a look of the side mirrors. Look at that, the new side mirrors. Ooh, perfectly timed. The new grill, which unfortunately, it's a bit dark to fully appreciate the grill right now. So there we go. Be lighting on the inside, and then we've got the rear diffuser. Oh, how could we forget the exhaust tips as well? We're not even talking about the exhaust tips, they look so good actually. The exhaust tips, All right? Sound clip time next, I think. You ready? Do you want to do a start up inside here? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, do you think I should get an M140i? Um, I do need a new little daily run around car, so this might be an option for me. All right, we're gonna get the car out, and it's time to call it a night until next time. Tomorrow. So everyone, Swithan is actually back again. Is it Swithan or Swithan? Call me Swifty, man like Swifty. Sw <laughs> okay, so Swifty is back again. Um, it's the next day, basically, after we put the diffuser back on, we thought that it would be okay, but this part started to bow a little bit out, I'm guessing because the air coming through and stuff. Now, to get the screws into these holes, it's impossible to do it with the, um, with the bumper still on, so we're taking off the bumper, there's literally no other way of doing it. It's, in, yeah, forget it. So, to do that, we just gotta remove these little plastic caps which is held in here. Um, it's easier to do with, with tools and two hands, you just pop them off. Um, I think it's a 10 mil here or an eight mil. And we'll take off the rear lights. And then we've got a few bolts just around the sides. So if I'm not mistaken, we've got two just over here and then three at the bottom. And I'm also gonna need to undo the one that holds the, uh, the diffuser onto the bumper, but that'll be all right. 
shouldn't take us too long um, but yeah I'm gonna put on hyperlapse I guess and we'll work on it get it all off and then we'll carry on So everyone, um, where we're at right now is, is number one, do not do it the way we did it earlier on in this video. There is no point because you will not be able to get this to fit on perfectly. Um, to get these screws in, it's just impossible. So I'll show you all what this looks like. Um, got the screws just basically kind of going in halfway through some of these points. Um, there's holes already drilled into it. So you kind of got to push it in and get the screw in, screw it up and it'll be held in place. You don't need to screw it all the way because then you're gonna get the head of the screw hitting the other plastic and it's probably gonna weird it out a little bit. So that's how that's all been done. The, the parts over here, I think is a good time to show you now. So here you can see the metal bracket. Um, we've got the nut going through, the washer's on that side, and we've got the, um, sorry, the bolt going through, the washer and the nut on the other side to hold it all in place. And yeah, so it's actually not that hard to take the bumper off. Um, I'll show you the important things while we've got the bumper off. So you got one and two screws just here, and you've got a third one just underneath here, which I think is a T20 or a, a T15. Um, it's one of the smaller Torx bits. So you have to kind of move that um, material out of the way. You have to move that material out of the way a little bit to get to that. Um, it's better to remove the bottom two bolts and then be able to pop it out a little bit so you get a little bit more space and access. In terms of the side, oh sorry, in terms of the rear lights, they're quite awkward to take out. You're actually better off popping this side out first because this plastic piece comes in the way of, uh, if I just bring this out here. So that plastic piece, it kind of gets caught up like this, just here. So you end up having a bit of a struggle um, getting that out. But once you get it out, it's fine. Um, you just unclip everything. So yeah, that was, that was us getting the bumper off, getting the diffuser on properly. And now we can actually fit everything back together. So that's the next step. Back to Hyperlapse. Another point that I wanted to make, we just made a little bit of an issue, which was we left this dangling underneath. So make sure you bring that back up when you're putting the bumper back on. And these little clips here, you have to basically push them out and under when you're taking the bumper off and obviously make sure they go back in as you're putting the bumper back together. Honestly, this is so much quicker and better to do with the bumper off than it is to take the whole bumper, um, to leave the bumper on and just do it the other way so hindsight we should have done this from the beginning but right yeah so put the side well the the rear lights back on and bolt them back on bolt everything back up um yeah it's gone all right the alignment's all back to perfect so let's go back to hyperlapse So everyone, that is it. The rear diffuser is properly back on there now. So like I said, do these things right, do it once. Um, we didn't know about the middle screws before because you couldn't see them when you first put the diffuser back on. Um, obviously after he drove it, we noticed that little bit of a um, bend coming through because of the wind. So you definitely have to remove the bumper to fit this diffuser on properly. We watched a video by Brett Barnes as well, I think it is, um, where he just did the way we did it earlier. That's not right and it definitely wouldn't have stayed on there, especially if you built up any form of speed, um, it would have definitely started pulling on that. So this is why I try to be as transparent as I can in the videos to show you any problems that you do face because at the end of the day it's a learning experience and you know sharing information is kind of what's important about YouTube as well. So I hope this has been helpful to everyone. Um, obviously, main guy here, 
Swifty. I'm gonna call you Swifty. Yeah, nice. Bonds. <laughs> I'm calling you out, Brett Bonds. Oh snap! We watched your video and you just took it off. Nah, but we got finally got it on now, but it's looking, it's looking beautiful, man. There you Thank go, you, Mr. GCC. It's all good. It's all good. Um, yeah, the car actually. You know what? Doing it that way it even fits. It fits a lot better than it was before. And oh, man, these exhaust tips, they look so good. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's been another fun fun evening. This actually, you know what? I actually can't believe this. This was quicker to do than doing it the other way. Yeah, especially because you're doing it blind as well. You yeah. can see the screws. This this was actually quicker. So the fact that you, you actually save a lot of time by just removing the bumper. Um, it's a lot more efficient and you're not fiddling around trying to do things blind. You can see everything and yeah, it works out great. So yeah, everyone, if you did find the video helpful or enjoyed it anyway, give it a like. If you want to see more from me and all the other stuff that I get up to with cars, subscribe and leave a comment if you could have done anything differently. But for now, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye.